Hello everyone, I've been trying to do a bit of trading as you know, obviously I've only recently started trading as such uh, I've been researching it for a while but I've only really started putting money into it quite recently um, If you did follow my last video, if you've watched one of my previous videos you will know uh, this is could be quite a profitable side hustle so I'm going to obviously try this and see how it goes uh, got about £100 in there at the moment which is nowhere near enough really uh, especially for the type of trading I'm doing which I'll talk about more in a minute but what I'm going to do is on my old video where I said about saving £25 a week over the course of 12 months you'll get over a grand that 25 quid a week obviously you do what you want to do but I'm going to be putting mine straight into the investing just so I can keep track of it and then obviously show you progress as we go and then hopefully you understand why I'm choosing these and etc etc but I will explain it if you don't understand like I said I'm still learning as it is so I could make mistakes and pick up a, uh, a stock or something that could fall do you know what I mean it's all learning it's all it's all part of the process but the sort of trading I do is the SP500 so the research that I've done on it basically states that it's a slow like you're not going to be rich overnight but it's it's got a good return over a long period so this is going to be more like another savings account if I'm honest with you uh, another type of trading what I'm looking into more and I'm hoping the next trading video I'll be able to say I've got, bought some is the uh, dividends sort of side of it so I get paid on um, a monthly or quarterly basis but obviously the idea is to sign up to multiple ones what are obviously going up and have been, I watched a video recently and it was basically saying about you want it to be within 10 years or whatever it is and it's constantly been a continuous like, growth as such. Uh, so I'll be looking into that, obviously researching my own style rather than following others or whatever and I'll be finding my own methods and obviously sharing that with you with the dividends. But yeah, with DSP 500, it's believed to be a long, long-term goal. So I'd only really invest in it if you're planning on saving. If you want to get rich quick from trading, I do think you need to do day trading. With that, it is literally a bit of potluck. In argument site, you could say it's safer than betting. Because with a sports bet, if that bet loses, your money's gone. With trading, if the stock goes down, you can still get a percent of your money back, unless it obviously goes bankrupt or something. But say you put 20 quid down and it goes to 17, you could always take that money out. Do you know what I mean? So you, it's safer in that sense, but it's not as safe as in you, you, it's easier to tell that one's going to win rather than a football bet. I think it's easier to predict a football bet than the stock market. But that's at the minute. Right? Obviously, with sports betting, I've been doing that a lot longer than trading. With trading, I am new to it and I am still learning. But the, like I said, this is my journey. I'm bringing you along with it. Hopefully, I can teach you some bits and tricks as well. I use Trading 212. What I'll probably do is put a link in the description. So if you want to use Trading 212, you can. Obviously, you ain't got to use the link. You can just download the app. There is other, other apps or websites that do it. But I personally only use Trading 212 because that's what a lot of people recommended to me. So I'll be using Trading212. I have got Coinbase, but with crypto, I'm trying to stay away from that because I don't know enough about it. But as time goes on, I will be digging deeper into all of this. And hopefully, I'll have more knowledge and I'll be able to share that with you. So far, with trading, I've only dipped my toes in it, as they say. So I don't know that much. I just know the SP500 is a long term and the safer option as such however i'm not a financial advisor um, i'm not telling you where to put your money i'm just saying what i'm doing with my 25 quid a week what i'm planning on saving which i've suggested to you to do to earn over that grand at the end of the 12 months that money will be going in there and hopefully it will give a nice steady return that is the plan uh, i've also got another big idea which i'm excited to announce but <laughs> nothing sorted with it yet. I need to do a lot of research on it. 
I'm hoping to get it done before Christmas, but it's going to be a very tight and questionable decision, all with money. I'm hoping to bring a video tomorrow about a bit more about the small business. Uh, I don't know if it'll be tips or tricks and that, or just basically how we've got on, how we've progressed, how we're doing, and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, with uh, trading, like I said, always research the companies, etc. The next trading video you see will be more about dividends rather than the safe trade. But like I said, this is my experience. This is what I'm doing at the minute. It's entirely up to you what you do. Like I said, I'm not telling you to do any of this. But the SP500 is where I'm putting the bulk of my money and the money what I've suggested you save, that's where I'll be putting that. And hopefully over the course of the year, when I pump that money into it, there will be a nice return on to it. Plus, I'll be trying to pump money into the dividend stocks as such. With <sighs> dividend stocks, I shouldn't say like that because it might not make sense to you. So there's certain stocks what pay dividends. Yeah, so they give you, they pay you out for owning that share. Obviously, as soon as you get rid of the share, you, you lose that dividends as such. So they're basically paying you for holding on to that share, if that makes sense. Where some companies don't pay dividends, but what they do, the money, what they would have technically paid you from the profits what the company make, they add that on. So the share price will go up rather than you getting dividends, if that makes sense. I hope it makes sense. But yeah, so the, the, it works off the company's profits, basically. They'll pay you out dividends to say that for holding on to the share and supporting them or whatever, however you want to look at it. Or the other companies that don't pay dividends would basically put it into the price of the share. So the price should go up if you wanted to sell, etc. But yeah, I want to look at it. I want to try to find the dividends fund what pay out. So then I get a steady figure coming towards me personally, if that makes sense. So yeah, hopefully you're on board and you understand what I'm saying. Uh, let me know if you're done and I'll try to explain it a bit better for you. But that's why I'm investing in that at the time or at this moment in time. Like I said, hopefully I'm do uh, every night I'm doing research, every day I'm doing research on everything. So as soon as I find something which I think would work or whatever, I will share that with you. And like I said, I've got a lot of stuff in the pipeline which I'm hoping to be getting the ball rolling soon on. As soon as that's all up and running, I'll be sharing that with you. And then, like I said, if you want to try something similar to that, by all means do it. By far, at the minute, the thing what's probably bringing the most money is our small business. But that is probably more to the fact that I've pushed the small business more than all the other stuff. Just for the fact of, with the small business, it's it, it's a product what I've got here, which we can get, like, get rid of as such. With the fiber thing, a lot of that, the Fiverr, the affiliate market and all that, you need an audience. With a product like that, the you find that niche and you find that audience. With Amazon affiliate links and stuff like that, there's obviously a lot you can choose from. Uh, I'm building a fitness audience, for example. I'll hopefully get some sales on there. And I'm building multiple audiences for all different reasons really um not just to sell stuff I, I, I build it to basically help people and all like this channel is not to make my obviously it'd be lovely if i made money from it but this channel is more to help you same as i've i've got a insta account which is literally all about saving money uh small business basically what this youtuber video is about i'll probably end up start taking that as well into this but yes i'm trying to help you with these where the side hustles small businesses that's where i'm trying to make my money as such but yeah that's it i keep you all posted of everything hopefully the trading will work out well and i'll get i'm hoping to get to the point where i've got a nice amount of money in there so you can see what i've put in because there's no point showing you that i've put in a hundred pound to make a profit of three pound which is roughly what i've done it, there's no point showing you that that's not going to motivate you i think you it's more motivation knowing that the sp500 is a long-term thing it's the, how do I put it, it's the turtle on the hair race as such with me, or the tortoise in the air, whatever it is. Yeah, it's going to take a lot longer to get to your goal, but it's more likely you're going to get to that goal as well. Like, if you're going to go risky, there's a chance you're going to lose it all. But if you're going to go slow and steady, it should just go up. You know what I mean? It shouldn't be like this. It should be a slow, steady 
crying and yeah it's not great to watch and it's not oh yeah singing and dancing but at the end of the day you're getting the results that you want same as everything it's, it takes a lot of grind and i've noticed that like i'm coming home from work and i'm constantly working all the time i feel like i'm always researching something i'm always chasing that next product i'm trying to do it to save you from doing it you with me but yeah definitely go check it out watch multiple videos on it like if you don't believe me or whatever but yeah the sp500 is where i am going to invest like i said i'm not a fi financial advisor or whatever but definitely look into it if you're thinking of trading and like i said if you want more getting money regular i will be looking at that as well in the dividend sense of it and i will be looking at the companies what i believe will be good at that so it would be good to invest in with that uh like i said on my next video it will probably be about the small business just because i'm happy with how that's progressing really well and stuff like that i'll also do a video soon about ads and that because i'm getting a bit more attraction with them but i'm not again i'm not pumping loads of money into it this is sort of a video where i don't uh, this is sort of a channel where i don't want to be pumping loads of money into it unless i'm earning half decent back if that makes sense but yeah like i said i've got lots of surprises for you coming up so make sure you hit that subscribe to see the next video coming in and getting released and yeah there should be something new soon fingers crossed and yeah, I'll keep, you, keep coming with uh, ideas and that for you. Share my ideas with you. Like I said, I've got a few surprises, which I don't want to let out of the bag too early on. But yeah, hopefully it will be up and rising soon. And we'll be successful together, you with me? So keep going on your journey and make it happen, yeah? Subscribe.